Hi everybody, it's me, Katrina Ann, and this week it's book week. Today I'm going to be reading these three stories that you see on the screen, Little Blue and Little Yellow, Super Tato, and The Crocodile Who Didn't Like Water. Enjoy! Little Blue and Little Yellow by Leo Leone. This is Little Blue. Here he is at home with Papa and Mama Blue. Little Blue has many friends, but his best friend is Little Yellow, who lives across the street. How they love to play at hide and seek and ring a ring a roses. In school, they sit still in neat rows. And after school, they run and jump. One day, Mama Blue went shopping. You stay home, she said to Little Blue. But Little Blue went out to look for Little Yellow. Alas, the house across the street was empty. He looked here and there and everywhere until suddenly, around a corner, there was Little Yellow. Happily, they hugged each other and hugged each other until they were green. Then they went to play in the park. They ran through a tunnel. They chased the Little Orange. They climbed the mountain. When they were tired, they went home. But Papa and Mama Blue said, You're not our little blue, you're green. And Papa and Mama Yellow said, You're not our little yellow, you are green. Little Blue and Little Yellow were very sad. They cried big blue and yellow tears. They cried, they cried, until they were all tears. When they finally pulled themselves together, they said, Will they believe us now? Mama Blue and Papa Blue were very happy to see their little blue. They hugged and kissed him. And they hugged Little Yellow too. But look, they became green. Now they knew what had happened. And so they went across the street to bring the good news. They all hugged each other with joy. And the children played until supper time. The end. Now, let's move on to our second book, Super Tato. Super Tato by Sue Hendra and Paul Lennett. Some vegetables are frozen for a very good reason. Don't believe me? Then keep reading. It was night time in the supermarket, and all was quiet. But, crash, bang, something had escaped from the freezer. Something small and round and green. Something looking for trouble. Big trouble. Help, help, cried Carrot. I'm stuck to the conveyor belt. Ah, cried Broccoli. So much drawn on my face. Mmph, cried Cucumber. Who was doing this? And was there anyone who could help these vegetables in distress? Super Titor, to the rescue. He used his super speed. He used his super strength. He used a fennel and some soapy water. I know who's behind this, said Super Tato. There's a pea on the loose. Oh no, not a pea, gasped everyone. Yes, a pea. But I'm out of the freezer now, and I'm never going back. 
<laughs> and the evil P ran off to commit some more terrible crimes. Time for a dip, little veggies. That's enough, shouted Super Tato. He leaped towards the pea, but the pea popped out of his hand and vanished into thin air. Super Tato set out on a super search. He crept through the cakes, checked the cheese, and snuck up on the beans. Then something cut his eye. The game's up, yelled Super Tato. But the pea bounced out of reach and onto a trolley. Super Tato was just about to stop him with his super strength. Then the trolley crashed and he was thrown down into the icy depths of the freezer. Was this the end for Super Tato? <gasps> Not quite. But the pea was off his trolley and lying in wait. You're finished, Super Tato, he shrieked. Super Tato summoned up all his strength and ran for it. The pea nearly had him at the beans and closed in on him at the cheese. He had him cornered at the cakes. So much for Super Tato. Screech the pea, you're about to be mashed, potato. Surely this was the end for Super Tato. Not today, my friend, said Super Tato. Gotcha, mm -hmm. said the pea. Oh yes, said Super Tato. I set my trap and you fell for it. Or shall I say, in it. And he grinned a super grin. Super Tato had saved the day. Take him away, he said. And the pea was marched back to the freezer where he belonged. This jelly tastes of pea, said Broccoli, and everyone laughed and cheered. So remember, folks, some vegetables are frozen for a very good reason. Maybe you'd better go check your freezer, just in case there's an escape key in your house. Super Tato, Super Tato, the end. Now this is the last one for today's video. The crocodile who didn't like water. The crocodile who didn't like water by Gemma Moreno. Once upon a time, there was a little crocodile, and this little crocodile didn't like water. He longed to play with his brothers and sisters, but they were far too busy with swim club. And this little crocodile didn't like swim club. What he really liked was climbing trees, but nobody else did. It was lonely having nobody to play with, so the little crocodile made a decision. He had saved up his money from the tooth fairy, and he knew exactly what to buy with it. The next afternoon, he took his new rubber ring over to the water. Today, he would play with his brothers and sisters. But he couldn't play ball or swim underwater. And although climbing the ladder was fun, he just didn't want to jump. But he didn't want to be alone, so he decided to try one last time. One, a two, a two and a half. 
Oh, blah, 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 blah. Hello! This little crocodile definitely hated water. It was cold, it was wet, and it was embarrassing. But then, something strange happened. His nose began to tickle. And the tickle grew, and grew, and grew, until... didn't like water because he wasn't a crocodile at all. He was a dragon, and this little dragon was a bird to swim. He was a bird to breathe fire, and he was born to fly. The end. Enjoy book week and see you soon.